Hi everyone. So today we have Sairam with us. Sairam has secured All India Rank 7 in Gate DA 2025, which means this year. Congratulations, Sairam. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So uh, Sairam is our course enrolled student. He has enrolled in machine learning course and also he has watched our Lean Algebra course. So by the way, Lean Algebra course is completely free for all of the aspirants. Uh, so if you want to watch, you can watch that Lean Algebra course. And also Sairam has enrolled in the machine learning course. Right, Sairam? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So uh, let's start with your introduction. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself like currently uh, you are working or you are in fourth year or, or what was your uh, BTEC stream and what is uh, your, you know, uh, college name or like that? Hi, everyone. My name is Sairam. I did my BTEC in electrical engineering in IIT Madras and I have a 2023 pass out. Currently, I am working in Geo Platforms Limited in Dubai. Oh, wow. So you are working in Geo. Yes, sir. Great. Uh, like, may I ask, like, as a like software engineer or as a machine learning engineer, like that? I'm working as a QA tester. Oh, QA. Okay, great. So, from uh, testing profile, now you will be switching to machine learning. Yes. That's really amazing. Okay. So, uh, like, mm, this is really phenomenal because um, I think uh, with me, it is like first time I'm getting that kind of experience that someone from QA directly going to machine learning. Generally, software developers goes to machine learning or or I have seen uh, Q, like uh, in my experience, I'm telling, obviously there are people, but in my experience, like QA, uh, uh, QA people have switched to software profile and software profile uh, people have switched to machine learning, but you are directly going to ML profile. So that's really... Yes, Okay, okay, great. So once again, congratulations, Iram, for your great rank. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So let's start from very beginning. Like, uh, when did you start your preparation and from which subject you started your preparation? And uh, after that, what you did? I mean, after that subject, what you did? Like, uh, everything, let's just talk about it. Okay. Uh, I started my preparation, like, March last year. So I've been preparing for almost one year. And I started my preparation with Python data structures and algorithms and statistics. And at that time, I was not that serious about writing gate exams. So I was kind of going slowly and, and also I was working and I was new to the job. So it took me a couple of months, like four or five months to complete those two. Then I decided, ki, okay, I will start focusing on this seriously and I started searching for like, where to learn this get syllabus all these different concepts and topics so then on YouTube I, I found this Go Classes Linear Algebra course which I like very much like there are 67 videos and then I could not find a very good course for machine learning. So like I liked your teaching very much. And I think your machine learning course are so first two, three videos are on YouTube. So yeah. I like them. I watched them and I like them very much. So I enrolled to this machine learning course. And rest all things I prepared like self-study. Okay, great. So uh, first you watched uh, LA, Lead Algebra, and then uh, you enrolled in machine learning because uh, you were liking that. So by the way, uh, what was your experience with machine learning course? I mean, have you regretted after joining? <laughs> no, sir, never. Like, yes. It gave me very much needed clarity, actually. And I liked it very much. Got it. Okay. So, uh, like with the job, I think it might be uh, very hectic. I mean, to prepare for gate and also with the, you know, working in a job. So, what is your experience regarding that? Yes, sir. It was actually kind of stressful, like doing a job from 9 to 6 and then coming home and preparing for one and of two hours daily. And that was very stressful. But I kind of managed it somehow and... For the last two, three weeks before getting exam in February, I took leave and prepared like three day, twelve hours. Wow. Okay. Okay. Great. 
so uh, how you got interest in machine learning uh, especially as you are like uh, electrical background and uh, you 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 joined as a qa so how you got interest in machine learning when i actually joined btech in electrical engineering i was not thinking of doing anything else like i wanted to continue in electrical engineering but actually I, as i was finishing my last year i realized that okay maybe this is not for me i mean even though i got a job i wanted to shift so uh i realized i had two options to go into software or machine learning so then i i took some basic i saw some basic youtube videos and understood some basic concepts and okay i thought that machine learning would be better for me got it okay so uh, you first explored machine learning and then you you determined that okay i like like that like you you want to do that so that is uh, that is what is telling that you got interest in machine learning but uh, was it also the beginning of gate da or at that time you were not thinking about the gate da when you were exploring ml at that time i was not actually thinking about gate da like i was thinking of slowly learning new things and somehow get a job switch but i realized afterwards that that will be very difficult so i had to write gta and join mtech okay okay so um, you got the motivation that uh, i mean if you do this way then probably it might take uh, you know a longer path that is why got it okay so uh, while you were preparing for gate da at that time like have you uh, having those kind of thoughts that uh, i mean uh, worst case worst case kind of thought that suppose what if gate da is you know uh, suppose somehow i i'm 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 saying like somehow uh, you like let's suppose while you are preparing that okay what if i'm not able to crack gate da in that case were you thinking that at least my knowledge will be helpful like whatever i'm uh, studying yes sir i had a like i thought about the worst case scenario like if i couldn't crack gate exam i discussed with my friends and if i couldn't crack the crack gate exam then i would continue in my original job and then after learning some more topics then i would slowly apply for jobs in the machine learning field so overall like what is your uh, uh, point of view regarding gate da in the sense that uh, do you think that preparing for the gate da uh, can even help uh, in getting the job or you know applying for the job like that i mean do we get that kind of knowledge do we get you know rigorous exam like depth in depth knowledge of uh, machine learning or or other mathematical stuff while uh, with the preparation of gate da yes i would say that preparing for gate da is very helpful in getting a job like even if you want to go directly to a job without doing mtech this will be helpful like there are a lot of interesting concepts and important concepts and there is a lot of mathematical intuition needed to write this exam okay so um like <clears throat> when you were preparing at that time uh, you must be you know uh, forgetting some concepts i mean might be i'm not saying must because uh, it depends on person to person but you might be forgetting concepts so what was your revision plan that okay uh, you have studied la now uh, now when when do you revise generally like okay i i didn't have much of a plan actually like i used to write lot of mock tests and then if any for every question i got wrong i used to revise that entire concept again that's it <laughs> got it yes so uh, you are saying that mainly your uh, revision was through uh, you know test or 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 the mock test right okay so in the mock test uh, uh, have you attempted amts by the way i attempted attempted 5 or 6 amts okay so out of 7 you have attempted 5 or 6 go classes amts got it so what was your experience uh, with respect to amts like uh, have you found those questions interesting and did amts help you in your preparation yes they actually help you very much that, like i felt the questions were very interesting and i felt the question were like exactly gate level like not too easy and not too hard 
and i felt like these questions might actually come in the gate paper like they were of that level and it actually helped me like know my level where i am at in the revision thank you got it and uh, what was your experience with respect to go classes courses like for example uh, linear algebra you have watched complete linear algebra 67 videos are there so you have watched the complete playlist and then you have watched machine learning so overall what what was your experience with respect to go classes linear algebra and go classes machine learning course it was very good i find like you explained every concept in very depth and like everyone can understand those topics so uh, sorry sairam actually your uh, video got stuck maybe due to internet issue so uh, can you please repeat your last line uh, what did you say last two lines probably you remember yeah like i thought that those lectures were extremely helpful in understanding all those concepts and in preparing for this exam and i like the way you presented those topics and also i had uh, like practice questions at the end of every lecture like every lecture uh, like 10 to 15 practice questions so i like that solving questions immediately after learning it helps us understand it better like that as well thank you so much sairam Uh, yes actually after every lecture there are like uh, many many questions so that uh, students can get confidence that okay now uh, they can you know uh, they can attempt questions and then we have definitely test series in the subject wise test also we have put many many questions in the amt also we have put many many questions so yeah okay yes sir uh, so uh, what is your take on you know reducing the silly mistakes like when you were attempting mock test i'm sure like you must be doing some silly mistakes so how you uh, how you were able to reduce those in you want to reduce silly mistakes we just need to focus more and not be not you should not take too much stress and not do questions too fast like hmm. there is 3 hours time you need to spend all of those 3 hours time for the 65 questions like you don't need to do anything too fast or thing okay. like this yeah that is very well said like you have to be focused you have to uh, either not do it too fast no and definitely not too slow it should be optimal yes right 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 and that's where we can reduce silly mistakes yes okay uh, yeah my next question is that uh, like when as you were saying that you are you are prepared with the job so uh, like how 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 many hours you used to prepare apart from your job like let's suppose 9 to 6 if i just remove that time then uh, how many hours you used to prepare at home on weekdays about more than 2 hours every day and on weekends 6 7 hours every day wow so it was like kind of consistent consistent preparation uh, from the march or april yes great great so uh, while you were preparing were you confident that uh, you will be getting top rank or there there were times that you will be having you, you were having a self doubt or something i was actually having self doubt very much actually okay. like i was not confident that i would get even a top 100 rank at first but after writing all those mock tests and at then in the last two weeks i got i got confidence that okay i might actually crack this i might actually get a top 100 rank and even after writing the exam i did not expect to get rank 7 actually so what was your uh, reaction or what was your excitement when you got to know okay you are getting these many marks or you are getting uh, this rank so i think uh, first marks has got released so what was your uh, your reaction after getting to know that okay the, you are getting this many marks and how much marks you have got i got 82 marks wow after writing the exam i just prayed that i would go pass 80 marks or like at least be near to it after the key came and i saw that i got 82 marks i was very relieved that i achieved my target of 80 marks great wow so it must be you know amazing uh, i can say feeling yes yes right so were you able to sleep at that night because of excitement <laughs> because it happens 
I mean, even after getting the marks, like I did not know what rank I would get. So that period was actually very stressful. Okay, okay. After even after eighty two marks. Yeah, I mean, yes, for the yes. last grade exam, I think eighty two would have got top ten rank. But this time, there was a lot more time to prepare than the last grade exam. So. i thought that there would be more people getting better marks right right yes actually after getting the marks sometimes we we have the doubt that okay maybe maybe there are many others who have who who might have felt the exam that much easy that i felt i mean since your preparation was very strong so you you might have you know uh, felt it easy co- compared to other aspirants uh, obviously like you got ai or 7 so you for you it, it 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 was comparatively easy because of your hard work definitely so but we never know we think that okay maybe there are some maybe there are hundreds of others <laughs> we do not know at that point in time yes i completely agree with this okay so i think uh, sairam i have covered uh, most of the points so uh, just one last question uh, from my side is that uh, is there any message that you would like to go give to gate aspirants who have uh, just started their preparation and who are very new to machine learning or who are very new to gate da because initially when we start preparation either either uh, of machine learning or 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 of gate da uh, directly then we have you know doubt that okay whether this exam is for me or not whether i should be you know going uh, one year for this exam or not so any message that you would like to you know convey from bottom of your heart right I advise for newcomers is if you want to be serious about gate exam, then like if you don't know if you are serious about gate exam, then just first explore a few concepts, and if you like it and you want to delve fully into it, then like you can start preparing with full like hard work and all. And once you start preparing, you should not give up. and you should study consistently like every week every weekend you should give a fixed you know fixed amount of time for every topic and just be confident that you are learning something even if you don't crack gate exam this information will be helpful to you in the future in some way or another that's it uh thank you so much sairam actually uh, this is indeed true that consistency is a key i, I mean in this short uh, you know just one minute you have summed up everything i think about gate da so consistency is definitely a key and another thing is that um, that you uh, put it very rightly that whenever you are you know studying for gate da then just just know that you are learning something new and it will be definitely helpful uh, somewhere yes so thank you so much sairam is there anything that i might have not asked and you like to share Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Sairam. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, sir. Thank you.